You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, B&B fans. It is Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I have got some spoilers for you for next week on the CBS Soap and also a really juicy promo. This is for the week of April 22nd through 26th. Very strangely, B&B has not released the weekly spoilers like they always put them out on Friday. It comes directly from the network. And I think just because of some of the big sugar reveals and the Sheila stuff that they are holding off, they have done this in the past during big cliffhanger weeks, but I still anticipate that we will get them over the weekend. But for now, now, I've got the promo and some other weekly spoilers, including casting news. So please click subscribe if you haven't. And now let's dig right in. And by the way, if you stick around to the end of this video, I will show you the new promo in its entirety. So we've got this Luna and RJ and mm, Zenday stuff. I'm just glad it's out. I mean, honestly, I was getting so tired of it. And I wonder if they're going to address the who's the daddy stuff in sweeps or just sweep that right under the rug. I guess we'll find out next week, Friday, Thursday and Friday, the 25th and 26th start May sweeps. And then it continues for uh, four full weeks after that. So next week leading up to it, we've got Luna, who has just been told by RJ on Friday's episode. He just doesn't know where they go from here. He just says every time he looks at her, he sees Zenday. I agree. It's the lies and they talked her into telling him, but he, ugh, I, I'm just struggling to care about this story. Um, so Luna's talking to her mom next week and she says, I broke his heart talking about RJ. And then what's really kind of fun is in the promo, we've got Brooke Logan not comforting RJ. She's comforting Luna. And then there's a scene where she is outraged and seems angry and is saying to RJ, she is not to blame. It was her mother's drugs. I just want to give a little bit of context to this. If you guys don't remember, uh, Brooke has had a man sleep with her when she was under the influence of some drugs kind of like this. And hers were prescription drugs. Like, I'm thinking if I'm, oh God, I'm having to stretch my brain to think back like anxiety medication. And she was actually, I think, involved with Nick Maroney at the time. And Ridge crawled into her bed and did the deed with her when she was hopped up on drugs and she was with another man and didn't know what was going on. And then it all came out after the fact. And it was a really big deal. And at the time, they were calling it rape, um, even though he didn't you know, physically assault her because she couldn't have consented. So... I I feel like this is hitting very home and hitting very personal for Brooke because RJ's dad did this to her. He kind of did the Zenday thing to her. Um, so, yeah, I just wonder if she's going to unpack any of that when she's talking to either RJ or Luna, because, yeah, yeah, she knows. Then we have a scene of Finn talking to Deacon and Finn says, you have me thinking. And Deacon says, good, because I'm right. We need to find her right now. I believe this is going to be happening towards the towards the end of next week. So on Friday, Deacon learned a little bit about sugar. There's going to be more conversation next week about sugar with Lauren and Deacon. And then by Friday, the 26th, Deacon and Finn are out actively searching for Sheila Carter. So yeah, he does convince him. And Finn has been dodging that question from people about how would you feel if your birth mother was still alive. And he said, you know, it doesn't matter because she's not. But this is about to change everything. And I do not think it's going to do his marriage any favors. Then we have Steffi venting to Liam in the promo. And she says, Deacon is an idiot if he actually thinks that Sheila is alive. I think that's probably going to be on Monday because that's basically the conversation that Steffi and Liam were having on Cliffhanger Friday on the 22nd. No, the 19th. 22nd is Monday. On the 19th, where she's just going off. And at least she acknowledged that he has the right 
right to believe what he wants because she basically went over there and told him he couldn't even think it, which I thought was ridiculous. And then we've got a scene, and this is from Friday, of Finn and Deacon, and they are showing a photo of Sheila on Deacon's phone to Tom, this homeless guy played by Clint Howard, who is Ron Howard's brother. He's a showbiz vet. I'm quite confident you will recognize him from a ton of stuff. Way back in the day, he was the bad guy on Last Action Hero. Uh, I just, I like that movie. It's a lot of fun. Anyway, and Deacon says to Tom, the homeless guy, you recognize her, don't you? Clearly he does. This guy has an episode on Friday the 26th, which is the second day of sweeps, and then also on the third day of sweeps, which is Monday the 29th. So... It will be the first full week of sweeps before they get any closer to finding Sheila. I'm curious how deep into sweeps it's going to take them. Like, are they going to find her that next week or are they going to drag it out to where it's the end of sweeps and we find Sheila, you know, maybe she's in that cage. Remember that's in the basement at Forrester Creations. Remember the one where um, Justin Barber, I think, locked up Thomas. Remember that? And I think it was Hope that came and got him out. So we do know where there's a very good cage. And if it can hold in Thomas, surely it can hold in Sheila. We'll see. All right. And again, we don't have the full weekly roster, but I've got three other big spoilers for the week for you. Monday, April 26th, Lauren Finmore is still in L.A. and she's talking about sugar. So she's going to just tell him... We kind of get the gist of it on Friday, but there's going to be more of it where it comes out very concretely where it's like, oh, that had to have been sugar that died. Like it's it really sinks in. And as much as Lauren doesn't want to believe that Sheila Carter is alive, Lauren would rather be on her guard and know the truth instead of burying her head in the sand. That's the vibe that I'm getting. And then on Tuesday, the 23rd, it looks like Steffi's conversation with Liam is over and Finn and Steffi enjoy some romance without the kids around but I'm guessing by later in the week their marriage is going to not be going so smoothly because he's ready to go out looking for his birth mother that Steffi doesn't even want to think about anymore and of course on Friday April 26 we have Clint Howard guest starring as Tom the homeless guy and then I'm very excited to see what happens next week I, I've been saying ever since the whole Sheila died thing that she was alive and that it was probably sugar. So I am super, super excited that it's all worked out this way. And I'm very interested to see the conditions they find Sheila in. I don't think she's going to be in a luxury hotel room watching Netflix. I do have a feeling it's probably going to be more like the cage that Justin had Thomas in. But we'll see how it goes. Thank you so much for tuning in. Check back because we are going to have the full roster whenever they release it in two weeks, spoilers and predictions, casting news, all that good stuff. We are here talking B&B seven days a week. And as always, I'm your host, Belinda from Soap Dirt. I broke his heart. She is not to blame. It was her mother's drugs. You have me thinking. Good, because I'm right. We need to find her right now. Taken is an idiot if he actually thinks that Sheila is alive. You recognize her, don't you? 